The Witcher 3, Kovir and Povis. Kovir and Povis are without a doubt the richest realms in the north. Few today remember that this was not always the case, yet their poverty was once literally on everyone's lips, in the form of now antiquated common sayings. As recently as the days of Herbert the Quarrelsome, one spoke of a particularly impoverished person as being poorer than a mouse from Povis, called bone broth Koviri delight, and referred to beggars as Praxides, after the bay along the shores of which these kingdoms lie. Similarly, few remember that a mere handful of generations ago, Kovir and Povis were still part of Redania. King Radovid I, known as Radovid the Great, handed dominion over them to his hated brother Troiden, with one stipulation, that he never leave his newly acquired domain and not interfere with matters of state. Handing over this rocky scrap of far northern ground, where, the saying went, the year had two seasons, August and winter, was naturally meant as a cruel joke, a slap in the face for the overambitious Troiden. Yet time soon proved that Radovid the Great had made a grave error. Before long, it was discovered that Kovir's bare rocks hid priceless treasure in the form of enormous deposits of precious metals and rock salt. This discovery in turn led to tremendous growth in productive industry. Mills, forges, and workshops sprouted up like mushrooms after a heavy rain. Radovid III decided to correct his famous forebear's mistake and take back the northern frontiers of his kingdom. He was convinced that the combined armies of Redania and its then ally Kedwin would quickly bring the ever more audacious vassal in line. History took a different turn, however, and Kovir won a resounding, crushing victory. Radovid III was forced to sign the First Treaty of Lan Exeter, granting Kovir independence while binding it to eternal neutrality, a promise Troiden successors have kept with great diligence. Until recently, Kovir was ruled by Esterad Tyson, a king as wise as he was greedy. Yet his untimely demise did not stop his lands from continuing to develop and blossom. Koviri metallurgists proudly compete with the best Mahakam can offer, and many believe the University of Lan Exeter long ago surpassed the famous Oxenford Academy as the leading seat of higher learning in the north. And so it has come to pass that over the course of a few generations, the inhabitants of Kovir and Povis have turned from paupers into princes, from beggars into bankers.